There. Okay, now it works. Oh, like. Because I don't want to disappoint you. Do you, Mr. Durley, do you want a hat with the Iowa Interstate logo? Yeah, I do. Perfect. All right, I'll let Mr. Ed know. Mr. Ed. Ed Brown can get some custom made thingies with the Iowa Interstate logo. It may be a little bit of extra dollar to use, but I might be able to pay for a Christmas present for you there, bud. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm going to get a stocking cap and a baseball at Christmas. Nice. Something I'm going like to get my newest, my newest one. Yeah. I forgot to tell you about that. Dogs are just, man, they're kind of mean sometimes. Everything's dogs a shoe toy in dog world. Dogs just don't care at this point. No, they're just... In a dog's eyes, anything is a chew toy. Look, I got cats and they feel the same way. There you go. Okay. Because I want to look like I'm best in the door tomorrow because I feel like I should. Last night was very interesting, Dirley. Um, Count down to the tracks, went over that spot that I've been going to the past few days. Uh -huh. And I hop out of the car and go grab my backpack. The horn is already blaring for the first crossing. Really? They were there before 7 o'clock. I almost missed them. I, oh, didn't that's have, terrible. I didn't have time to record and set up one. I didn't have time to set up my tripod or anything. I just had to go with one arm as steady as possible. Literally not even one crack. Nine to ten seconds to get out of the car. It was like right there. Very. I was talking to Ken about it. Nine to ten seconds later. I was talking to Ken about it. He was even surprised and barely got there. Which is funny because he's like always there. Hey Charlie, if you want to start a live stream, I can if you want to. Huh? I have no I have no I have I I your full consent to start a live stream. Oh it started. Oh it started already? Yeah. Okay. It's not with me. It's a great hey there. Yeah, sorry. Hey there, live stream world. You did it again. You did it again. Uh, we've got a special guest with us today. You know, we have uh, Charlino and myself, as always, uh, the Durley. Hey, that's not my game. All right. We have myself, the Durley, and, uh, as always, the boy. And a uh, special guest, uh, Matt Brown. Hello, everybody. Matthew. Matthew. What? <laughs> oh, do you prefer Matthew? What? Do you prefer Matthew over Matt? See, I uh, my name is my, my, my name is Josh, but I actually I prefer Joshua, but it's not like I demand people call me Joshua. It's just what I prefer, you know. If you, want, you, if you prefer want to start a camera and face it towards the live stream chat, I can look at it for you. I don't know. I might kill my phone. I'm trying to keep it as high as possible. Okay, that's how I was but yeah, today we're gonna we're gonna fix. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? No, it's just the bridge. Yeah. You can see the cuts in it, so it looks funny. It still looks better than it did before. That's I funny. mean, <laughs> really getting up to some shenanigans this live stream. Shenanigans. The old shenanigans. That's what you could title it, shenanigans. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make some noise here. Bust out the Dremel. Oh God. You and that Dremel. I love that Dremel, man. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm glad you didn't have to throw it away. Oh yeah. You know, I talked to. Uh, I called Menards again. Mm -hmm. HR. Yeah. She says it's been a pretty bad week at Menards, so she's gonna wait till Monday to bring up the idea of the general manager wait for him to calm down. Okay. But in her personal opinion, she thinks that he should have no issue with me wanting to come back. Good, good. 
Well, in hindsight, in over 90 days, there's quite literally nothing you can do about it, but... Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if I get my old job back. I make funny noise. Despite you uh, going to your house last yesterday, I still went out and, cat and saw Mr. Schultz. Saw yeah. the high roller go by. I saw that. I walked over there. Oh, nice. I'm glad to hear it. I'm following already. Be more specific. What are you talking about? Do you think it's like, going to be like all like mobile equipment? Hmm. I don't know. Uh oh. Well, I can stay on the ground, I guess. I have no idea. Because I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to do that. It's like a track inspector just going. Typically. So well, I hope I hope whatever you said you were doing has been working. I'm sure it will. Positive. <laughs> On the floor it goes. Okay. Bye. Bye. that thing with the solder in it? Is that not solder? What is that? What? That? Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. oh. Why do you have it? Some of these are things. Hmm. Can't argue with that. It's a funny looking bridge. I guess we'll just pick up both the log down here. We have some glue. I need glue. What type of glue? Super glue? Yeah. I can watch the live stream while I'm talking to you. How about that? Don't bust everything out. Huh? I can actually watch what you guys are doing instead of sitting here just staring at a photo. <laughs> just hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. That should be fine. Just an extra voice that people are going to hear. They're not going to know where it's coming from. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like me every day. Oh, my. All right. Oh, boy, is it going to mess everything up? A little bit. Because I, I don't like hearing a voice of me in the background. It doesn't make more sense. It would be pretty weird. All right. Water. Warm water, Mr. Hurley? I have my tea, thank you. Okay. Tea today, huh? Yeah. No, 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 click. There we go. Hey, when was the last time you brought tea over here? But I do like it. Probably would have been some time in the summer. Here. What type of tea? Just, well, just plain tea. Oh. 
I like the tea that's flavored. Although I'm not really much of a tea person, so I can't really complain, but the only tea I've ever had, it was flavored. Oh no, this is all gunked up. This is not good. Mm. So we got this little section of the tra the track I called the Superman Gap, because there was nothing there, nothing supported it. Never. And I have just had a heck of a time getting a bridge to be the right length and everything for it. Did you just take that away from me? No, I'm going back to something else. Oh. I'm going to order another trestle bridge to go over this little section right here. Oh, where the water is going to flow underneath. It's just finding a good transition or a piece of straight track, you know, four or five inches of straight track isn't going to interfere with this curve too much. So what I've done is I put a couple of uh, couple of quarter turns. I've got one on this side. I'm going to trim this track down here on this side. I'm going to put a quarter turn on here. And hopefully it does the trick. Personally, cut some wood, probably. That would explain a lot. Hopefully, the chat can hear me, but and if, see if anybody in the chat knows what the numbers on those spike means. Oh, that'd be a really good question. I don't know. Oh. Confused. He's here. Hey, what's up, DBC? Had to make it dramatic. <laughs> I don't know if anyone except for Paul maybe would know. What's that? The numbers on the spike. I think, is it just the code of track? Probably. I thought that's what it was. Right? I yeah. believe so, yeah. B2213. B2213. It could be just a manufacturing stamp. Oh, mm -hmm. I've always been, oh, I was just seeing. I know what Pocket Foundry does like a combination of uh, letters and numbers for their code dates for when things were when manufactured. <laughs> well, Pocket Foundry is a company we work with a lot at uh, PPG. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. It'd be nice. Sponsor is PPG. <laughs> Yeah, he already works for you, you know. Come Actually, on. technically, they are sponsoring us because they give me money and then I work on trains. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't think that counts. Probably not. No, no. What world does that count? I'm going to grab some. I'm going to grab some. I'll be right back. Yep. All right. There we go. Can I get the perfect camera angle over there? I have super glue, super glue that on my skin. It feels. It's the weirdest feeling ever, peeling super glue off your skin, so it feels like you're peeling off your actual skin. That is a weird looking bridge. I don't think we can run trains through there. No laughter. <laughs> I don't think he finds it funny. Here, underneath the layout. 
go this way. DBC to Sorry. answer your question there. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure, the only reason the train would ever show up that e uh, early is they didn't have any work with Ural. So answer, I mean answer. After they got done in Silvis, they just came right to sell. Do they give uh, group discounts for uh, the Railway Museum? Uh, yes, I'm talking about the Illinois Railway Museum right now. Do they, do they have group discounts is what I'm asking? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check that out. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. What was it like? Um, like six. Spent, like during diesel days, you get to drop, you get to go onto a cab and do a, like a demonstration. You get to drive the locomotive for like hundred fifty bucks. <sighs> That'd be worth it. But I mean, just the regular admission. I think we paid like twenty bucks, right? And that was like everything. I think that's yeah. I think that's about the regular admission. But I mean, if we could get a big group of people going up there. And even save five dollars a person, that'd be kind of cool, you know. Like have have a you know a big convoy of people show up at about the same time. I just want to go up in general again. Yeah. Because there's so much there that everyone. Oh, there's so much there. I I could spend the day just riding the trains. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay, so July. I mean, June, July, and August are filled with everything. The diesel days is what I really want to go up. I, want, I really want to like get pulled oh, behind the that train. Are, are they? We showed up, man, and uh, they had that Burlington route uh, uh, shunter with the GP seven or something like that, like right up front, that gray one that we've got at HO. It's not a GP. I think it's S. I don't know. I'm not good with switches. A GP seven. Yeah. Well, uh, that's, well, a, that's, a, that's an SW something. Yeah, maybe like an SW7 or SW8. That's where I'm getting that number from. Uh, uh, Walther's actually put out a brand new line of those, which is beautiful. But we've got an old either Atlas or Bachman of that exact uh, shunk or that exact oh, so switcher. so it's we now. So it's we now, not you. Okay, just run down to when the museum is closed. It's called, it's closed all through January and all through February and most of March and April. Yeah, we. Okay, so like January, the museum is closed. So mean. But, uh, yeah, we got there and I saw that and I was like, oh, that's awesome. We have that. And then I saw the, uh, the Shea coming through. And I haven't seen a Shea since I lived in Virginia. 
um, those just things. As bad, just as bad Wednesday, I got to the museum grounds with both of being close. Oh, really? We didn't get in trouble. We were just dropping off some stuff. Yeah. That's mostly the time. When the vision is closed, that's when all the volunteers go in and start working on stuff. Oh, sir, do you volunteer there? Yeah, the, the people that volunteer, they need, start, they need to start working on stuff, get ready for when the museum opens again. All right. That'd be fun to do, just volunteer for them. All right, I gotta make some noise here. Beast. Okay. He spent seven days in solitary confinement. Oh, Jesus. That's not cool. <laughs> On purpose? <laughs> On purpose. Wow. That's a, that's a bold move right there. I wouldn't want to do that. I've spent a day or two in solitary confinement. It's no bueno. Yeah, that's uh, it's actually become a pretty big problem with our uh, prison system is uh, people just getting stuck in solitary confinement for excessive amounts of time. It would be very psychologically damaging. tip for everyone watching uh make all your cuts before you start super gluing your stuff down yeah i guess uh it was a joe rogan had himself uh waterboarded and they uh like he didn't last past the first like round of it wow yeah So basically, July has much like four special days, which are the fourth through the fifth, seventh. Okay. Of July. The electric cars are for July are the first through the third, eighth through the twelfth, fifteenth through the nineteenth, the twenty second through the twenty sixth, twenty ninth through the through the thirty first into August, which is the second. Their special fair days are 12th and the 14th, 20th and 21st, and their electric cars and steam or diesel trains are the 27th and the 28th. August, you got five special days, which are the 4th, 9th, through the 11th, and then the 31st. Okay, and then how much different electric car days? I don't understand why though. Well, it's because they originally they started out as an electric car museum. So they just have a lot of them out there. Yeah, but it's like every day of the week. You two are making an acquaintance. Oh, yeah. We mm -hmm. Yeah, we snap an arguments. <laughs> you do not want to start an argument with this guy, so it's me. What about you? Don't worry about it. Yeah. What the hell did I miss? I was gone for five minutes. <laughs> oh, jeez, I was going to ask you if I could grab a couple of those. 
from work so you can give them to me? No, yeah. for me right now. Oh, I can go grab one. Shit. Hey, you gotta stay up there. What? You gotta stay up there. Go back. Talking on the animal. Oh. You gotta stay up there. He's got pooches. God. This, this guy, I tell you. This guy, I tell you. I'm talking to someone. I don't want to. I'm not get over it. He's treating me wrong for a reason. Can I press the power button without it? Oh, I was really hoping I could press the power button without it accidentally hanging up. Okay. Get my screen too while I'm at it. I might as well. I don't care. I'll be right back with yours, Mr. Sir. Thank you. What? Just the one? Probably two, honestly. Jesus, what for? What are you cleaning? The lizards. They're pretty dirty. Okay. I mean, you're going to be dry. I'm going to have to get double next time for my slider. I'm going to have to start charging extra. Alright. You got what your animals are dealing with there? We need some weight right here. Here. And soldering iron. Where's my soldering iron? Has everybody that's watching, or only if you comment? Uh, it's only showing Mr. DBC. Let me just look on the participants, and then I'll show you. Were you just banned off of the face of YouTube or something? I don't know. Do you even have a YouTube account? Yeah. Are you sure? Do I need to explain myself again? Maybe. Oh, I might have to create a channel on a talk, okay? Damn it. Oh, wait. What did you count? Uh. Yeah. No, God, no, I don't want to hear Huh? Last one is yours. Thank you. Okay. Use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. And I need to go. tracks and hopefully there's actually enough time to get on a call this time. Jesus, last night was <laughs> that was funny. That, that was funny. I'm like, I heard it, I'm like, are you down there yet? Thankfully, a few seconds later, I would have missed it entirely. Yeah. 
Anyway, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. There we go. I got enough space. Okay. I already back again. Had to set up the hyperlapse. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it sounds like glue still. But, uh. So, yeah, like Dirley said, I guess I don't know what I missed with them doing with something with this. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't really know what the whole point of all that was. I'm not exactly an expert like him. I don't know what he's really doing here. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what he's doing. He can explain it to me as many times as he wants, but I don't know if I'll actually ever understand. I want to show you guys something really quick that I need a conversation starter. So, obviously, I have switched over to my brand new, way bigger BNSF vest. And no, this is not mine. This is Durley's. It just so happens it's the same one. This is one of the many ones that I got from my next door neighbor who works in the maintenance of way department for BNSF. And uh, we got two of these because Durley, Durley, Durley wanted one. And so I was texting him like, hey, could you do me a favor? See if you can get one in Durley size. He's like, yeah, dude, I got you. And uh, he got a lot of these. He got a 5X, a 4X, and a 2X. While I was looking through all the vests, I realized, oh, my God, I have way too many of these. I got to start organizing better. So I look at, and I see one in 2X. I'm like, I wonder if this will fit me because I've grown. You know, I'm a, I'm a growing man. But uh, sure enough, it fit me pretty nice and snug. And then there was this one, which is a the tag is already gone. Okay, I don't know. It's either 3 or 4X. And it's big enough where Durley can comfortably sit in it and zip it up and everything. But obviously, I'll just throw it on. I'm going to look really weird because it does, it's not my size, but it's this is turning into a fashion show very quickly. I'm just going to start being all types of colors here. But anyway, obviously, it's got the two radio straps right here for your over-shoulder, over-the-shoulder radio, or if you have a, if you're like me, I just put my radio scanner right here, which I like having the ability to put it here or here because that's why I like my Norfolk Southern vest so much because it has the same stuff. Well, obviously, let's zip it up here. Just make it look more professional. Yeah, because it looks so professional. Right here, it's got your normal breast pocket with pen holders. As you can see, Durley has already put one of his pens in it. Right here, obviously, you got this pocket with a zipper. Look at that. And it's about the same size as a breast pocket. Down here, oh, right. <laughs> I just can't see. Hold on. There we go. Down here under the reflective strap, you got a whole pocket with a zipper. Pretty, pretty decent size pocket. You could fit a, a Subway six inch sandwich in there if you needed to. Same thing on the other side. Big pocket on the white, dearly leaves all of his stuff unzipped. And then one of the many cool things is like every other vest on the inside, it's got one right here with a uh, piece of Velcro in the middle to separate it. It's got the same thing on the other side. You can put pirated movies or something like that. But the reason why I'm showing you guys this is not to show off my new vest. I'm showing you guys this because while Durley was wearing his vest, I couldn't help but notice something. And I pointed it out. And sure enough, it's on mine too because it's the same thing. If you look on the side here, I'm trying to see where you guys can see it, you notice there's a zipper there. Well, like me, me being me, trying to figure out what the hell it was, I was like, Durley. Stand still. What is this? Pull down the zipper. And now, watch as my arm disappears. <laughs> you can fit your whole damn forearm. Almost my whole arm fits in the back of this pocket. Well, that's because it's a big vest, but that's a big ass pocket. And sure enough, it's on my vest too. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I am not an expert. In fact, I'm actually thinking about talking to my buddy, the one that gave us these vests in the first place, because he wears stuff like this every day. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell it can be used for. Because I have absolutely no idea what you would need a big pocket like that for. A subway foot long? Like, come on. What, why do you need that big of a pocket? Okay. 
gone already. He just got back. He's already gone. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea what that big pocket could be for. I mean, it could be whatever you want to use it for, but obviously it's there for a reason. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's there for a reason. I'm trying to figure out why. Why would someone need such a big pocket? But pretty cool vest. I only have so many. Um, obviously, I got my classic one. I don't have on me. It's upstairs. Um, and I got that one that I've upgraded to because when I'm wearing my Carhartt coat, it really makes me look bigger than I actually am because it's so... That's how Carhartt jackets are. They're nice and fluffy. So when I put that... I think it's 2X. It should be 2X. Um, it, it fits comfortably. It gives me all the pockets. And I like all the pockets because they just they come in handy. I mean, I only use so many of them, but... They have their uses. They have their uses. But it's just a quick fashion show of the vest that I now use that literally just so happens to have the matching one. But you know me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down in history as the that one guy who collected every single employee issued railroad vest for every class three? Class one? I can't remember how the system works. I think it's class three. The big, the big railroad companies. I can't remember if the big ones are class ones or class threes. I think, I think it's weird. So it might be class three. All the class three railroad companies. Eventually, there's a little spoiler alert here. I'm going to be making my very own custom made Iowa Interstate vest. Obviously, I'm not going to make it look like the exact same one they issue out to their employees because. Um, I actually get in trouble. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, just because of the fact that, well, I mean, I guess I wear BNSF stuff at BNSF sites where they run their trains, but I'm not, I'm going to try and make it look like my Illinois Central one. I don't know if I'm going to put my YouTube name on it, though. I might. That'd be an idea. It's, it's in the process. I don't have the money for it. I haven't even found a a format, a nice base for it, though, but I'm definitely going to have to get one that has a shoulder strap for my radio because the reason why, I don't know if anyone's ever wondered, you never see me in the videos, but if anyone's ever wondering why I never am seen wearing my Illinois man vest, a lot of people, you know, one of the main reasons I was watching it was, uh, not watching, <laughs> one of the main reasons I would have liked to wear it is so I'm easily identifiable out in the wild. But now I've only narrowed it down to wearing it when I'm doing anything other but than rail fanning. Because like this jacket, which I did not buy for rail fanning, I bought this for my job I had at Menards for outside. There's no spot for the radio because it's not meant for that. It's just meant as a normal work coat. It's got the breast pocket and everything, and that's it. But that's the one reason I never wear my Illinois Central custom-made high-vis vest because there's nowhere to put the radio comfortably. So... If anyone's ever wondering why I never wear the one vest that I'm so proud of, it's because there's nowhere to put the radio. But I will wear it when I go out to museums and stuff because Illinois Central doesn't exist anymore, and there's quite li it's quite literally impossible for me to impersonate an Illinois Central employee when it doesn't exist, and they never even made it into the era where you needed to wear a high-vis vest. Plus, when you go to museums and stuff like that, people compliment it. They like seeing stuff like that, I would say. I'm going to, I think it's a C, there's a, there's a thing blocking the way, hold on, see if I, oh, I can't fix that. I'm going to see if I can get the Iowa Interstate with you tonight. Dude, if you can, that'd be really cool. And you just, last night was a very good reason, wasn't, it's a very good, um, what is the word I'm looking for here? I cannot find it. It's a very good example. There we go. It's a good example of why I leave my house at six o'clock because they can they can you know they can sneak up on you very easily even though they're in a very loud engine. They can sneak up on you and come early sometimes. The earliest I ever caught an Iowa Interstate engine, not really well engine train was uh, six thirty at night. So that was early. In fact, it was so early. It was back in the day where it was still. The sun was setting at 9.30. Oh, those were the good old days, let me tell you. Because, you know, trains in the wintertime don't even show up that late. But when it's, you know, still light time, that's when they go to 10 o'clock. That was my luck, at least. In the wintertime, when it gets dark at 4, they show up early. 
in the summertime when it gets dark at 9, 9.30, they show up late. So it's really hard to balance it out to see them in the light because me personally, I like the daytime way better because I don't even have to use my flashlight. You can, as long as the sun's not in your, you know, shot, um, you, the, the angles you can get, the possibilities are endless. I mean, when it's daytime, I can sit wherever the hell I want. When it's nighttime, even though I got a high-vis vest, I kind of like being where there's light. I'm not just going to sit in a spot that's dark as hell because, first of all, no, that's a bad idea to just sit in the dark. And second of all, there's no – there's I can't see anything. I don't – I don't want to sit in an area, which is ironic, because we always sit at the Spring Valley Defect Detector, but that's because I'm with Durley. I don't like sitting in dark spaces by myself where I to, to look around and see what's around me, I have to use my flashlight. Not a good idea to just be sitting in the dark. But, obviously, that's why I got on my high-vis vests, or high visibility in general, because in every single night when I record trains, you know, back in the day, I mean... I always, uh, it was always at night, so it was like, well, shit, I don't want to look like a train hopper, even though I'm literally recording the train, but you never know what impressions people, you never know what people will do to not look like a train hopper, but I wear the high vis for a bunch of different reasons. One of them is because if you have a favorite railroad company, there is nothing better than owning the same gear they give out to their employees. It's, it's something that you really can't explain. It's like, wow. Obviously, some people buy that type of stuff to impersonate um, railroad railroaders or members of the company, whatever you want to call them, workers. Obviously, that, what the hell? That is not something that I do, but I do know it's something, it's one of the main reasons why people who wear any type of high visibility around the tracks are frowned upon by literally everybody else. Because as soon as you see someone wearing a high-vis vest near the rails, the first thing you ever assume is they work. They work for the, they work for the company. Which one of the main things that is good about that is true. I never have ever impersonated a railroad uh, worker in my life. It is kind of nice because then people don't approach me. They're like, oh, it's just a railroad worker doing his job. No, we'll just stay away and leave him alone. I don't really like it when people just approach me, especially if I don't know them, because it's like, well, who the hell are you, you know? I've had a few instances. What the hell is that? I've had a few instances when I'm staying next to the road, and I always tell my uh, folks back at home that I've had someone stop and see, you know, see who I was, see who I was doing, see what I was doing, and they just don't like it because, you know, the world's a sketchy place. I'm 17 years old. I'm not saying I can't defend myself, just saying, you know, there's, they're, they're always worrying about me, but I will say wearing a high-vis vest near the rails has its ups and downs. The One of the main ups is uh, me personally, if I ever saw um, someone who was sitting by the tracks, you know, track side really close with a high-vis vest that didn't work for the company, obviously my first impression would be, oh, what's that guy doing? That's weird. Why, why is he doing that? But then over time, as you think about it more and more, I like I like to always put a thought in my head that when I'm standing that close to the tracks in a very dimly lit spot, I like to think that the train crew appreciates me making myself visible. Will that would that ever help in a situation? I don't know. I don't know. God damn it. I'm gonna start knocking back here in a few seconds. But uh me personally, I like to think, especially when we're out in the Spring Valley defect detector, I think it would it might make them a little bit more happier knowing that they can see us because we're just so damn shiny. But definitely one of the main downs is, you know, everyone always assumes that uh, just because you're wearing a high-vis vest that you're, you're there to do no good. Which it's unfortunate, but I guess a lot of people do that. I've never really heard any instance. I've never heard a scenario. I've never seen it. But one of the many things that rail fanners do not appreciate is you wearing a vest because oh, you're impersonating someone. Which, you know, everyone, a lot of people are under the impression you don't gotta, you don't have to go around saying you're impersonating someone to make it you know, impersonating someone. Like, 
You as long as like, just wearing the vest is enough to be impersonating someone, which I mean, yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of true, but that's not why I wear it. And that's if anyone has ever asked me if I work for the railway, I immediately tell them no. Of course, you always get that weird stare because they're like, well, you know, in their mind, they're like, they want to ask, why do you have it then? Why are you wearing it? Where'd you get it? Yes, I mean, they've never, they never do. I've never had someone be like, well, then why do you have it? I've even had an Amtrak conductor the first time I ever took a Amtrak ride. As we were waiting to get off, one of the conductors was like, you guys work for BN? And we're like, no. <laughs> no, we do not. But nothing that you can legally do. I have acquired all of my railroad attire with my own money, or it was given to me as a gift. Therefore, technically, well, not even technically, therefore, it's my property. I can do with what I want. Don't go out impersonating railroad workers. <laughs> Trying to be a good influence on the internet here. It's the one thing I can't stress enough. If I ever see someone do that, though, they, they put a very, very, very big frown on my face. But at the end of the day, you do what you want. I don't care. You want to wear high vis not against the law. But what is against the law is going around saying you work for these guys when you don't. Thankfully, one day when I'm working for Iowa Interstate and I magically have the night off and I'm recording, well, not recording, I'm standing next to the tracks and someone comes up and they're like, do you work for the company? One day I can say, yes, I do. And it won't be lying. I'm like, well, well, yes, it just so happens I do. I'm just not on the clock. But I do, in fact, work for this company. Thank you for asking. Thank you for being so curious as to what my profession is. I'm going to check on my phone. Hold on. Go over here. 96. Okay. I will say this, though. Even though the majority of high visibility gear I have and own is railroad attire, um, a small percentage of it, like what I'm wearing right now, is not railroad. I mean, you can look anywhere you want. The only logo you're going to see is the DeWalt logo. I will say this. If you, if anyone watching for some reason watches my videos and gets the wonderful idea that they want to be just like me for some reason and wear high-vis vests, me personally... If you don't want to risk dealing with getting yelled at by people, wear a vest that has no logo on it. Like this, I mean, yeah, it's high vis. And true, some railroad companies don't hold, don't, don't hold, they don't have their own custom made uh, gear. They just give them high vis and you're good. But that's one thing, if I were to ever recommend it to someone, I'd be like, look, go ahead, wear high vis, but get something that doesn't look like a. A railway worker, like something. I have a, I have a high vis vest. That looks exactly like a, exactly like a construction worker's vest. I used to wear that back in the day. How old are you? Getting personal here, DBC. Seventeen. I'm kidding about the personal thing. I was just messing with you. But uh, on. one of the many, one of the many things. Just that. A construction worker gear. I used to wear that back in the good old days of recording mm -hmm. Iowa Interstate. Um, it was just a simple baseball cap with a line that went right around here. That was reflective and just a normal construction worker. And then I got real stuff. And I never stopped wearing it. You see some people collect trains. Some people collect guns, knives, pennies. I collect railroad attire. It's just something you no know, one ever hears of. It's like if you ever go to a house and you see someone with a, a game-worn football jersey incarcerated in glass hung up on the wall. It's like that at my house, except it's railroad vests. Like, what the hell is the matter with you? I'm just sitting there. Oh, that's my prized possession. <laughs> one thing I want a lot, which might be quite literally impossible to get, when Union Pacific runs their big boy excursion train, every single employee that uh, is involved in that excursion is given a custom Union Pacific vest with the 4014 Union Pacific badge on the back. I want it. Not even to wear it because I 
it's not like they give this stuff away. I will tell you this right now. If you ever want to get railroad high-vis gear, there's two ways. Find it online because selling it is not a crime. And, you know, I mean, railway workers, they do that all the time just to earn a little a bit of extra money since the railroad doesn't charge you any money for asking for clothing. They just sometimes sell it online. That's how I got my hard hat and my high-vis vest. Original one, not the one I just showed you. That one's newer. Sorry, newer. But uh, another way to get high-vis gear is uh, being really good friends with a uh, person who actually works for the company. But I will say don't become friends with someone who works for the railroad just to get gear from them because that's that's not cool. I don't do that. I, I cannot stress this enough. Even though, yes, I have gained a lot of BNSF gear from my neighbor, I don't use him for this shit. It's just every once in a while, you know, we're really good friends with, you know, even before you work for the company. But I just mentioned, I'm like, hey, man, is there any possibility, you know, any, I didn't demand it. I'm like, hey, give me a vest. Give me a vest. No, I just, I asked politely, you know, I'm like, is there any, is there any way, you know, as long as you don't get in trouble, are you allowed to just take stuff? He's like, yeah, you want something? I'm like, sure. But I just want to stress that out enough. Like, I mean, I cannot stress that enough. I don't just use my neighbor to get BNSF gear. It's just something that it just kind of happens every now and then. And sometimes he even asks if I want stuff. I don't even have to. And he was up in a at the college trying to uh, pass a test to become a foreman, um, he was like, yeah, they even have a BNSF store in here. I'm like, that's the type of college I want to go to. He's like, you want something? I'm like, sure, why not? I'm not going to say no to BNSF gear. It wasn't anything employee issued. It was something that they saw on their website. That's something I do recommend checking out. Checking out BNSF's um, store online. They have a very bunch of nice stuff, not sponsored. They have a bunch of nice gear on there that's not necessarily employee issued, but obviously if employees wear it underneath their high vis, it's okay. Um, and I will say this right now, a bunch of the gear I've acquired from BN, um, that says BNSF, I actually uh, acquired them from their main distributor, which is no secret. It's uh, Sportex Safety. Um, the only issue is, is that's where the railway buys their gear from. It's not, BNSF doesn't make their gear. They have a company make it and buy it from that company. Um, Sportex Safety is actually a major distributor for clothing in terms of BNSF gear. Um, I will say one thing is, is it gets really expensive. Like one vest is over $100. So that's kind of a last resort. But if anyone wants BNSF gear and you don't want to work for BNSF or you don't want to go and become friends with a guy, just buy it off from their main distributor. If you have the money, do it. Because guess what? The best part about this stuff is when you bought it with your own money because then there's nothing anyone can ever do. A BNSF, a BNSF worker can't just walk up to you and tear that off. It's, you know, it's especially if it's with your own money. That's the best way to get this stuff is buy it with your own money. Because then it's your property. You can do whatever you want with it. Ooh. Mm. I think it's better on or off. Yeah, sure. And Dirley's really taking us time. I think he'll be back by now. Phone, oh, you still on? Okay, good. Gotta check on my phone. What do you guys think since, uh, ever since we moved the layout? Okay, yeah. Oh, that is on. I had to make sure it was on. Uh, what do you guys think about the layout being moved in this direction since how it was? I'll move out of the way and get a really good look at it. Me personally, I'm starting. I'm trying to like it because uh, it's weird having all this room, and it just it just looks strange in general, in my opinion. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it's kind of weird every time I look at it, and I'm like, oh, okay. I have a few more trains for Christmas. You better be making videos about this, Mr. DBC, so that I can watch them. Still waiting to hear from you if you made one for the Iowa Interstate that you got. I do check every now and then, so. so 
I'm waiting for Dirley to come back because I need to use the restroom. I'm not just going to leave and have you guys just stare at the train layout. Because that's boring. Actually, hold on. I'll stop this really quick. I'm going to check right now, Mr. DVC, so, so I can yell at you. Let's see. Go right here. Go right here. 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 Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Hmm. You know what I don't see, Mr. DVC? You know what I don't see? I don't see any video about that Iowa Interstate train, Mr. DVC. You got the one with the steamer and the Norfolk Southern. Those ones are nice, by the way. Very nice. See? See? You got the you got the Norfolk Southern one there. Mortgage just surprises me every time. I'm looking, man. I don't see anything. Uh-oh. USW. See, you got the radio scanner. You got the radio scanner on a YouTube short, but I don't see anything else about the trains. I'm going to watch the Norfolk Southern one again. That's really nice. Uh, what is this? What is this? Do, 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 do. There we go. See, the best part I like about the big Lionel trains is the fact that there's you they, they talk. The engines talk. Always, always surprises me. Always surprises me, man. Well, that was traumatic. Oh, it's Iowa Interstate. Is that a rear DPU I hear? Yes, it is. I really should go over there to Jorge's one, one of these nights. See if I can get a better angle. Not necessarily where I went that one time, but... There's so many different places I've wanted to try to catch a train at, and there's only so many places I can go to. I'm trying the best I can, I swear. Oh, kitty. This is adorable. Watching a video of your cat, DBC. Always adorable. Oh, kitty. Look at the kitty. Oh, it's adorable. I want to steal your cat, my good sir. I'm going to be completely honest. I want to steal your cat. I cannot remember for the life of me what those types of cats are called. The breed, I mean. Those are the most beautiful cats ever. All the different colors. They're so cute. Go back in the hyperlapse. Oh, six. Put it like right there. Perfect. It's good enough for me. I'm really just taking a sweet old time. Like usual. I only have so many things I can talk about until it eventually gets boring. I'm gonna go this way. Hold on. Let's see if I can. What is in here? Um, you cannot legally touch that. 
that. I think I got all that off. I'm really sure. No, I did not. The hammer. Get back your leg, sir. Come out for that one. That's not good. I really like the idea on how this switch looks, even though there's a bunch of stuff on top of it. You can't really see it too well. This flex, yes, it is. Just a random piece of flex track, just chilling, having the best time. I'm going to go grab a piece of rolling stock and make sure everything can work out here. This can go right here. It's temporary housing. Can I get out? And then, I guess I can stay. Well, maybe not. Stay. Oh, well, damn, that works pretty well. I'm going to grab a random piece of rolling stock and make sure all this works. That. That, ele that little elevation point doesn't look right. That's better. Sure. This is like my go-to piece of rolling stock here. Today helping us once again is the old BNSF 669400 Cool Hopper. Assessment of the rail and make sure it all works. You went from here before. It's already derailed, and I just started moving it. Just moving it. Probably. Wait, oh, that was the way. Why did I not? Oh. Hey, I know how to work switches, I swear. Yeah, it just does not look great for me. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, barely. Oh, that was that was risky. Oh my god, that barely worked. Oh my god. I cannot believe that works. Oh, finally. Sorry, I saw the brick. Oh. He was doing some work on his car and it looked like he wasn't having a good time of it. So you need to apologize to DBC for taking so long. DBC, it is. There's only so much I can talk about before it gets boring. What are you talking about? You're the more entertaining one of us. No, I'm not. Anyway, DBC, I do deeply apologize to you. I I uh, hope you can forgive me, but I was helping the elderly neighbor next door, so getting in my good deeds for the day. I was checking out the clearance here because it didn't look right, and uh, oh my god, hmm. we barely are nailing it right there. Where? What? Look. Look at that. There's like barely any room for clear. I mean, it clears, but like, oh my god. Well, that's the thing. We're going to have to elevate this like a half inch Oh. to bring everything up to clearance, yeah. Just checking over the switches one more time. Because I guess I'm second second doubting your work or something. Mm -hmm. I was giving uh, DBC crap because uh, I want to see more videos of the layout he has. I got to see a really cute. Um, 
a really cute uh, video of this cat though. He has one of those uh, what's that word? I always forget that cat cat breed. Um, black, orange, white, not calico. Forty. Yes. Well, he goes up. Yes, he has one of those. I'm jealous. Oh, really? You got a you got a twenty? I let I let him know that I want to politely steal his cat. I haven't got a response. I don't think I can't really see from here. What I do know is since I've been waiting for you for so damn long, my oh, stomach here we go. The my again. stomach got upset. So I must again. I'm not guilty. I am You're simply guilty, man. I am simply letting you know that I must go to the bathroom now. Oh. I was waiting for you to come back so right. I could. I'm not just gonna leave the camera down here because then no one's gonna know what the hell. Oh, so did you see you got a torty? I actually, my uh, my oldest cat Elsa, she's about eight years old now. She's a torty, and then I have a gray torty and a black torty, um, and then I have a kind of a chimera uh, torty in my house. So I, my one of my most favorite breeds. It's fun. Um, the chimera people, uh, they're Turkish people. Think that torties were created by an evil wizard uh, that drank a lot of alcohol and used the fire from a dying star and black magic to create the first torty. And you have a torty, so you know how they have that attitude. So you can understand that. Oh, you got some more trains for Christmas? What'd you get?
Progress there? Yeah. What about making cuts in the debris? Mm-hmm. Give the structure. Gotta help out for the structural integrity. Mm -hmm. I'm really starting to like the idea of the cut right here. Like, I don't know how you feel about it, but I think how it's set up now is actually how I want it. Like, permanent. What's up? All this. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like it. Do we have uh, this stuff is garbage? We have another go, but I think the reason why you got that is because what happened to the other one. I can get it anyway. It'll be fun. Thank you. You and Mr. DBC make amends? Oh, yeah. I think so. I think so. Oh, eating Chick-fil-A. You know, I just got the Chick-fil-A sauce uh, from Walmart. I, I didn't realize. I, I I don't think I've ever eaten a Chick-fil-A, to be honest. Uh, but I had a guy at work recommend the, the sauce. They're just basic sauce. Man, you can put that stuff on anything. Like fries, burgers, chicken sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. I mean, you can put it on salad, to be honest. Man, it's so good. And they have, like, all kinds of different flavors, like Polynesian and barbecue and stuff. I'm very much looking forward to trying more of it. Where even is there a Chick-fil-A around here? Man, uh, the closest one I know of is like Peoria or Rockford or Quad Cities. So then, Mr. DVC, where are you that you're eating Chick-fil-A? That's chick fil a That's a good question. He's usually back home. He's always seems like he's out and about. Always one-upping me. No. Always going to places I've literally never been on a daily basis. It's so <laughs> hurtful. I think that car can stay there for a while. I just really like the idea of a small operating yard. It reminds me of the Buzzy Unison yard. It's just a little bit of track, but man, there's a lot of work that goes through there. There's a lot of history on this track. Yes, Cause literally got, and figuratively. Because <laughs> you've got the old wooden trestle that is somehow holding up 35, 50 ton diesel locomotives on a daily basis. And then you've got the slightly more modern trestle that we're going to put in here. They weren't have like Brand new trestle that we put in here. I like the gondola ones. They look so nice. I they do know. look neat. I like them. I, I, I'm totally on board with you there, Charlie. I'm glad. It's always good when we can agree on something. Oh, yeah, yeah. speaking of, can you put down the track for a second? Huh. Hello. Hello. We never did a... Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> he doesn't like that I do that when I give a hug. He usually keeps laughing at me. Well, okay, let's do this again. You want me to do he comes in, He comes in, he's all like super like this. <laughs> Whereas I'm like, get in here, get in here. You know? <laughs> it's like we're men and we're hugging, but I'm still hitting you. God damn it. <laughs> we always bring that up. No, oh, if I was choking, I'm fine now. Oh, Jesus. 
Just make it sure you don't have any food lodged in your throat, you know? I hate to be burped by this guy. <laughs> like, here, baby, whack! <laughs> Halfway across oh, the room. And welcome to spinal issues for the rest of your life. <laughs> now you know what it feels like to be me, so you can stop your crying. <laughs> you know, now you are able to cry, because you know how I feel. Yeah, now, I gave you a reason to cry. <laughs> Like your parents, <laughs> I'll give you a reason to cry. It's like, here you go. I got a reason to fucking cry. It's a pretty good reason, too. I mean, half the time, it's like, well, I can't agree with it. Well, I can't argue with it. Now. I really can't wait for the day that Mark is uh, feeling better enough to go on a Iowa run in the daytime. Just the issue is, is, by the time that he starts feeling better, it's also the time it gets really cold in the morning, and I don't think he likes the cold that much. Compared to me, which I keep telling people the only reason I tolerate it is because I got nice clothes and I worked in this last year. But I wouldn't say I have nice clothes. I'd say I got heavy, heavy duty stuff. I quite literally purchased exactly what I needed. And you mentioned we need to do some track movement here. That is a major track movement. Sorry. It's really not too bad. Not as bad as you made it sound. No. Still don't want to. Mm. That's why it's better with these curve sections. It just looks funny. Flex track is shiny. That's not. See, look up here. It's all nice and shiny, and then it gets. I'm not saying I'm an issue, but I'm just saying it's funny how some of the track literally just doesn't even look right. Well, okay, I'm not going to say it doesn't look right because it does. It doesn't look the same. Because it doesn't? Because it isn't. Every day I'm actually, I get more happy that I came through and redid all this again. I don't know if when you do stuff like this, it has to be that sturdy, but I like it when it's that sturdy. I prefer it to be, you know. Well, then I did a pretty good, pretty good pretty job. Pretty damn good job, boy. There's some questionable ones. I don't know why that one's kind of doing its own thing there. But, well. Oh, that was just pouring the stick. I gotta grab so many damn tools. There's so many tools. I keep putting them down. I think that's all. Like oh, down. that's how I feel, man. There's so many damn tools. I'm constantly like moving you on. You dropped the Leatherman. Why did you do that? Gravity. Damn you, gravity. Can I uh, use that for a second when you're done? Hmm. Leatherman? Please. Yes. Yeah. You're done. And well, take your time. Just a moment. I don't have to, but I want to use the leather. Man. I can feel just a fraction of your power. The power. So how was your morning, Mr. Gurley? Mm, pretty good. Cat's doing fine still? Oh, yeah, I actually got to wake up to... Uh... I was laying on my bed. And uh, I had my gray torty laid on my chest. And I just kind of had my blanket thrown over my no-no zone. And I felt uh, one of the little orange boys laying between my legs. And I was like, okay, that's cute. It's warm, you know. I'm laying there and I'm kind of dozing off. And then I felt something grab I woke up quick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not much else has to be said. You know, most, I, I'm assuming most of the people here on the channel are guys, and we know what grab implies. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you gotta get. Is this thing magnetic, or is this just really steel? No, not stainless steel. Oh, damn. I just want to put it back in my pocket and hopefully forget about it. <laughs> One day, boy. I know. 
Then I might just have to buy you a letterman for Christmas instead of giving you your fucking present. I mean, shit, man, if that's what it takes. <laughs> You're like, oh, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> How did I even staple this in the first place? That's when Durley says, with a staple gun. With a staple gun. Thank you. The comedy is just what we need here at the All White Man 601's channel. Nice! I actually... Oh, and it's tight. <laughs> no comment from the Durley. As the, Germans, <laughs> as the Germans would say, it was good and tight. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've never heard you do that one before. What, good and tight? Yeah. What does that translate into German? Nothing. It sounds German. Oh! God damn it, Durley. <laughs> I'll agree. opinion because he knows what's up as the kids would say <laughs> oh shit there's some out of the box that's not good <sighs> those might be garbage well the one is but the other two look perfectly fine well i don't know if you technically consider this one garbage it's the slightest bit bad oh the one in front of you on the sticks Popsicle sticks. Oh. You, I thought you actually I like how you, like you actually reached out to me like I had it. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah. He really thought I had it. Wow, I'm that convincing. No, it is it's just something I would do. Hmm. Well, it seems fine to me. You know, it's funny, the brass track looks so much like golden track. Imagine that. You may have a fancy train with fancy layout, but I got golden train. My train is made out of diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's made out of volcanic ash. See, that wouldn't work really well. It wouldn't transfer energy all that great. Obsidian. <coughs> Gold uh, is an excellent conductor of electricity. And uh, silver, actually, though, uh, when you look at it across all temperature and pressure and, like, all the ranges, silver is the best conductor. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, what exactly do we. Now, gold, the, the thing with gold is it doesn't corrode. Oh. So. Yeah, I forgot that's its main punchline. That's why they use it uh, in space. Fair. How exactly uh, do we get our tracks to look like the real ones? What do you mean? Make them brown. Make them what? Brown, rusty, like the real rail. Oh, out on the top, like, I don't know anywhere where the track is this shiny. There's a... Uh... I was actually watching last night. There's a company that makes a, a pen. That will uh, they use to color your trays. Nice. Yeah. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. 
It's like a paint pen, basically. Oh, I love those. Those are fun. The same, what does it look like the ones that come in your, uh, you come in a car? Or the mm -hmm. ones you get from the dealership that's, you know. Basically, yeah. All right, this is what we're looking at here. Oh, sorry, I'm messing up the switch. <laughs> I'm like a child over here. <laughs> And this should give us all the clearance we need underneath the trestle. That looks nice. And there's a little bit of structure underneath here now with the yeah. tongue and groove. It still looks funny, but it's way better than what it was. Yeah. Well, I'll get this started in here. Hold on. We must get, we must get approval from the BNSF call. Calm down there, Jesus. Don't calm down that much. Get out of the way. Perfect. Uh oh. Okay, fine. You can go down the hill. No. Doesn't want to now. I see that works pretty fine. Nice. You did a good job. Thanks. It approves. <laughs> the BNSF coal hopper approves. Man, I'm going to be hungry. Me too. I've been hungry, honestly. Don't mention food. Surprised you don't have any snacks with you like you always do. Check your vest pocket. You might. <laughs> I probably do have something. I was showing off the uh, your vest earlier. Yeah. Showing that big pocket. I still <coughs> I keep forgetting to mention it to Josh. I have to find a convenient time where I know he'll be able to respond in the moment. I owe him a twelve pack. You do? Yeah, for that vest. I owe him something nice. Fair. We're getting something for his kids. Yeah. I think that's one of those things that he wouldn't refuse, you know? That's one of the things I was talking to. Oh! <laughs> They're really... Hmm. I <laughs> oh, drifting! <laughs> I didn't mean to. I uh, was mentioning how that's kind of how I got, like, a good majority of the stuff. I was also mentioning that, uh, you know, don't, don't abuse it. You know, don't be an ass. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you have been. Me neither. So I was trying to get you a new uh, PPG this weekend. Well, everyone's off. You know, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if we can take Bryce together anymore because your mom said something about see if it's legal for you to be in the car with me, which it totally is. Yeah, I'm behind. I have plans tomorrow with Grandpa Mark. I just don't know how long it's oh, yeah? going to last. Oh, okay. All we're doing is taking down the Christmas decor. Not an all day thing, though. Know. realize one weird thing about this car, it kind of lost its fake air hose on one side. That fake hard plastic air hose that everyone uses. It would be nice if someone, a train manufacturer, sold locomotives with already all the grab, I won't say that, with a uh, full metal everything. Not saying it's difficult to aftermarket it, but I feel like it would make everything so much simpler. Maybe more money for them, I know that, but like. I'm really upset today over some news involving the CNW. The uh, Chicago and Northwestern. What's up? 
Did I ever mention to you that uh, there was allegedly two of the last remaining Dash 9s for the CNW and the original paint unpatched and everything? Yeah. Yeah, well, it turns out they are not at Union. It also just so happens that they never were their property. Really? It just so happens that Union Pacific quite literally decided they never wanted to patch those engines, and eventually, like every other company, they buy way too many locomotives that uh, they can't put on service, so they stored them at the museum for multiple years at a time, and eventually, it was always rumored that the Illinois Railway wanted to buy them because, I mean, of course they would. They'd be stupid not to. Well, in 2019, there was a bunch of uh, vandalizing going on involving the Union Pacific locomotives. In fact, the one got so bad that they had to quite literally repaint the full thing. Someone vandalized a whole ass locomotive. Really? Yeah. So, because Union Pacific never actually is thinks smart, um, instead of donating the two last remaining Dash 9s, they just repainted them and renumbered them. And then put them in storage in the middle of the desert where people can vandalize them. Even though that's exactly why they repainted them. So yeah, they survived over two decades in their original colors and original logo just to be put on a storage track in the middle of nowhere. Instead, they could have been... I mean, now at this point, I don't even think it's worth it for any museum to get it because they got to repaint the full thing. That's like... For a museum, even the Illinois Railway would not get that done within a they have to do that a year project. Really? Like years. They'd have to up the admission. So that was pretty upsetting. I was really looking forward to seeing them though. There's another thing that you know this generation, I guess, is the old people would say will never get the chance to see. Which is upsetting, I think. It was bumming me out all day. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, so it's Union Pacific's fault. They're not as they're not as nice as they're made out to be. <laughs> they got the big boys, so they're loved by everybody. <laughs> Which I mean, that's fair. But all I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that it would have made a lot more sense to just stick it in a museum. What's wrong with them? Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I shall be running. Uh, something reliable. Here. God damn it, dude. Oh, Jesus, we're barely getting clearance. Oh, what well, would you look at that? We don't even have enough clearance for box cars. That's upsetting. Well, no, it's. We've got clearance for box cars. Well, why is it pushing it? Okay. Because this track is a half inch above the deck. It would appear so. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what keeps happening. It's almost like you're not supposed to do stuff like this. Like this. Damn it. Hold on. i got to put them in storage. Like what BNSF is probably doing with their real Burlington or the rolling stock. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can you tell I like the switch? I can. Beautiful. Alright. Um, something reliable. I know the most reliable piece of engine we have. Open the door. Today, helping us with this unknown operation is BNSF. 66. I did not look down to see what it was. Yeah, 67 yeah, 56. Did. No, I didn't. Yeah, Shut up. Did. Shut up. I watched you do it. No, you didn't. You got no proof. It's on camera. No, it isn't. It is. It's straight it, up on camera. It's on laptop. Did everybody see that? It's on laptop. Hello, live stream world. You saw that, DBC. I know you did. You saw nothing, DBC. Who's your friend, DBC? Him or me? Me. Which rail? <clears throat> oh. Star Trek. Right. I forgot. Now with their. Right. It's connected now. 
Now the reason why this thing is considered <coughs> reliable is because it is the only engine that fell off the tracks and still was fine. So obviously I wasn't going to put the Iowa Interstate on here because then, you know, I have nightmares. Oh. I was just about to give you a hard time about guilting me about that, but then I realized that I need to order those parts, so thanks for helping me about that. I wasn't. E I didn't even mention it. <coughs> All I said was it was the old. Oh my god! It has bragging rights, my guy. Oh, they kind of lost a little power there on that set. Probably because the track could be dirty. I like the clicking it makes. So, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that noise. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Yeah, that's an issue. Hmm. Well, derailed. I just don't know how. Because this joint, I mean, this connection is nice. Hold on. Uh, we'll run it. We'll run it back and see. See what the hell happened here. Oh, stop. Sorry. He rolled again? No, it just wasn't rebuilt correctly. So it was derailed. I didn't know that truck derailed too. I thought it was just a rear. Let's go back through. I know. So it is that joint. I want some more. Well, what's wrong with it? It looks fine to me. What am I supposed to do with you? you come here. Hey, people want to see you. Everyone wants to see the one that started it all. Do do do. Train crash. Uh. Mr. Sir, I mean, it, it looks fine though, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I know, but it looks visibly fine. Leather one. What? We have a leather one. Oh. Leatherman. Leatherman added to your inventory. Achievement unlocked. Leatherman. Level game. You pick up. You you picked up. You found the result. Let's try it again. Okay. BBC, hold your breath. Or don't hold your breath. With the with the. Right, this may I have a total brain fart trying to figure out which track it was on. I was like, wait a minute. Perfect. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that looked worse. Or some more safe. Yep. <clears throat> thing. I wonder what kind of motor it has in here. It's so heavy. Do you have a uh, reason yet? I think so. What do you think's wrong? I think it's just a bad angle. No. I saw you got as scared as I did. Safety reasons. All I'm saying is imagine how nice that shunt would have in this little guard. Don't I bet it be something the last remaining in service CB and Q, not touch, not patch, something else? Looks like it's never worked a day in its life. 
I'm just saying as I missed it as well. Where's the puncher? It's over there on the... Yeah. There you go. I'm not sure if I know I'm going to go find something for lunch. I'm hungry. I'm going to get this nailed in and I'm going to go smoke this morning. All right. I think. I'll be right back. leave. Mr. GBC, I'm very sorry that he just kind of left you alone. Um, did it work? Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see if it works. Get out. Gonna do this without Durley here because he's having a smoke. You know, I tell him I don't like people leaving it unattended because what if something important comes through? Oh, dude, that was perfect reader on me. This is nerve wracking. Are you even on the tracks? Oh, that solder is shit. That's why. No offense to Durley. And of course, you leave the Leatherman down here. It's exactly what I need right now. The one time he takes the Leatherman is the one time I actually need it. I don't suppose there's just a file somewhere down here. Probably not. Hold on. One moment, guys. I gotta go in the other room here. What? Oh my. This is a heavy box. It's like there's a lot of tools in it or something. Do 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 do. Oh, um, 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 there's like no spot to put this shit. Oh. Going this way again. I don't know if I'm in this situation. Oh, reluctantly. Reluctantly. I just made a new word. Because I don't know how to English sometimes. It's really difficult language. Oh, oh it's worth a try. Not 
Hey, break off, damn piece. Almost took it off. File. File. Of course it's not going to in. See, this is why the leather one is the perfect tool, because it has everything you need. Where is it? Ah. It just so happens that I am a damn pretty good expert on this type of work. Only thing is, am I able to get it from here? Oh, 100% I should. No issue. Why is so much in there? It's okay, that was allowed to hit the floor. Okay. Really, you might not trust me willingly with this type of work, but thankfully, I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. for the expert. I did not just burn myself. Shut up. I mean, she's on. Yeah, that piece is the issue. I'm not touching, I'm just making sure it's on. Yeah, that's on. Such a big piece of solder is the issue. I mean, yeah, that's on, it's just not really. I'm not really doing what it needs to do. The issue is there's just a big lump. Just a big clump of solder there. I don't. Yeah, I'm trying it up. I forgot it. No. Maybe this is decided I wanted to heat up. Oh, that's nice. Sorry guys, I have no control over what my mother says, unfortunately. 
See, I don't know if it's part of the track or it's a piece of solder, but regardless of what it is, where is the Leatherman when you need it? I actually burned a hole in the styrofoam. Well, I guess we got no choice but to wait for Dirley to come back. Tried fixing it on my own. Didn't work so well. Whoa. That's not concerning. Stop doing that. Man. Let's see. I mean, I don't know what's going on with this one. I'll look at it again. Try and figure out what's wrong here. That's confusing. It's the same wheel every time. See if I can put a uh, put this down somewhere close to me, but uh, there's no spot for it. So I'm gonna go back over here. Snug. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Take a piece of rolling stock. Let's see what happens. I was half expecting that to go off the rails, I'm not going to lie to you. That was pretty surprising right there. That was some, a pretty good result. Slow down really, really fast. Because the elevation, this is like the... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Stop derailing fix yourself. some type of glue or something on the track. It definitely could have been causing a major conductivity. I don't know how you pronounce it. It may have been causing issues with the electricity being able to flow through the track. Let's find out. Well, obviously this isn't going to be enough to test it, but Thank you. 
this thing in the room. That's weird. Hanger drill. Strange. Into the sorting yard. It's like a hump yard. And I'll put it I have a piece of an obscure thing for me just waiting. Woo! I did not appreciate that. Cool. Under, I gotta get a scrap engine here. <clears throat> or in this case, oh, what else is this supposed to happen? Oh, I am slowly remembering how much of a thing this show is to go back on. With that. It's not how it goes. Whatever. The old bison tail is 1776. I'm gonna have to move the transformer to make this safe. Just one of those engines where it doesn't matter if it falls off, you know. Hate to say it, but it doesn't exist in real life, so I have no feeling experience for it. There, girl, you can help. Have you tried running over that? Oh, still derails. Also, the Leatherman is muted again, and I tried fixing an issue. It's not, not working. Early. Early. Yeah. Thank you. Right here, it still derails. In this joint, on this outer rail, there's like a bump, like the solder kind of became a fuss. Yeah. I tried using the solder to make it liquid again, and I don't know what the hell was happening. It, it was on, but it wasn't really hot. No, it was hot. It just, I guess the cluster, when you get a cluster of solder, it makes it evidently more difficult to uh, unsolder it, turn it into liquid. I don't know. I'll be right back. It's time for me. So just so that.
That one Spider Man said it beats time. Do you want to plug this, please? Uh, I can try to plug mine. Mm. As Yoda said, do or do not, there is no try. Mm. I must put pizza down. It's way more difficult than I originally anticipated. You get somewhere, old man? Yeah. That's good. What'd you figure? Well, I think I have that one figured out. All right. How about that one? Man, that thing is smoking. It's funny. I'm going to step in here lunch. Okay, I have a piece? Yeah, it's a... Uh, I cannot remember the name of it. I'm not going to lie to you, but I can tell you it just got off. So, bitch, stop. All right. So, we don't really have... I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Hot. Yeah. Oh. Might be spicy. I'm not sure. I quickly tell me I forgot what it was. Good. Acting like it's not even hot. Literally just got off and up his head. You just don't even care again. <laughs> How are you doing after yesterday, old man? Fine. Mm -hmm. No, I just had a lot of things about yesterday. You know, to be honest, conversation I had with him all yesterday. I've had that conversation so many fucking times. I've had it 
problem with dirty things on the shoulder. And it's cost you quite a bit. Jobs, people, relationships, money. And I mean, I hate to say this, but I am not in control of it. And the person likes to think that they're in control of their life. I don't like other people being in control of my life. I mean, there's some sort of things too. And, uh, but, I think everyone's made into a relationship. Relationship. But if they're drinking, they think they Mom, well, that's not the exclusive, you know, picture of your fraternal. Right. I'm sorry, I believe you're a picture all the time, baby. It's something I can't, I can't change. I've got it. I did it. Can't do that anymore. Prefer not to. Well, it's like I'm looking forward to seeing you grow as an adult and achieve the things you want. And my drinking is also. Uh, you know, I said when we when we first got to it, I'd help you. And I don't feel like it happened. It's a new book. There you go. Now, I need the effort for you too though. Things are gonna change. I'm not gonna be dirty like it was. I've asked you many times, let's start working on this GED thing. Ask you to do things, you're going to have to work with me here. You're going to have to do this. Do this. You need your license, you need your GED. I'm not trying to turn this like, on you. Like, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. But I've let my responsibility with you last. So unfortunately, me going sober means you're going to have to work harder. Sacrifice more than me. Well, maybe next week, if not next week, the week after, we go buy you the book, uh, Prepping for the GED. <laughs> I thought you already had some like that. I was wondering if you were going to somebody else. Well, they won't get their DVD, I think. You think? I hope a lot of people get out of here, man. But. This used to happen. I mean, you're not getting your job growing with a uh, high school diploma. You know. You're all. Uh, you're also not getting your job growing. Yeah. I'm 
I say the Negro family, but yeah, I have enough vehicles in my ownership that like I can I can sell you one. Something reliable, or I'll be fine one that is reliable. But like out of all my vehicles. So to you like at, at cost kind of thing. The Impala or uh the Impala ones I get fixed. Or the Avail. Both of which are great runners. They're talking like hundred thousand dollars. And that money be payments. Right, the situation really screws up a bunch of things, though. I wasn't expecting her to say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw the counter. Mm -hmm. We need our good behavior, and you, real-time mama. No, well, dad is a good evening. We had plans to stop the evening, and then on the way home, stop it. Let us all work on once, okay? She just needs to see me again. Sorry, I got to this point, man. Mm. I have a serious fucking problem. You know this. My road pains me to go to bed, but like, it's, it's something that I don't have control over. So we'll see if the trigger comes out. Am I missing anything important? I hope not. Conroe's here. Hey, Conroe.
Would you mind reeling it? <clears throat> we, uh, I'm sorry we were in the other room eating. Darley finally got that uh, bridge we got from Princeton set up to how he likes it. Might be off. Only issue is uh, he said that he has messed with it so much to the point where he thinks we should probably get another one at this point. But uh, we can finally run trains in a full loop. We're just cracking down on the minor, minor derailments that are for some reason happening on um, certain points. Oh. Huh. Ooh, that's strange. Mm -hmm. be a funny issue with the uh, <clears throat> bridge. It loses conductivity. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, there was a piece of glue or something stuck to the rail. That the bridge is over there. Huh? You go right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. Trouble. Got trouble. Should we go through the loop, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Why are you doing that? <laughs> That's an interesting parking job. Switching action down here. What happened? Oh, too real. Uh, it's on a switch. I can't really. I'll bring it back up here. Oh, it's fine. All oh, right, so it's, wait, hold on. Don't keep power on. Is there something all missing here? I thought I was messing with it. It's touching the main rail. It's just working five seconds ago. We're trying to figure out how switches work. Power. Power. We'll just start uh, like, getting a good connection. That's all. Here. Oh, Jesus. Seriously, Darling. Mm. You used to. <laughs> you seriously used a piece from the old. Mm -hmm. That's great. I had to. Never thought that would ever come in handy again. I think that's a good parking slot, nice and safe. 
And we're just trying to figure out how switches work. It is not going well at all. I just don't understand what happened. Don't want it. Okay, I'm confused. What's happening? I'm just losing power. It's not connected. I mean, the rails are connected with pens, but those are old, like, old, old pens. Nothing soldered. Oh. So we're just not getting uh, no tension. It's just strange with such a nice engine, you know. Hmm. I'm not putting over that. I don't know why or how you did that. I guess you really just want to see me have a heart attack. Putting the trust load. Huh. I'm just testing something. I mean, I suppose we could solder all that in right now. Oh, and I'm drifting it. That's why. Well, I tried making this piece of the reel touch this one, so hypothetically it like. I don't know how electricity works. I figured if it was powered all the way up till here. As long as there is a, well, I don't know how these switches work. It's really confusing and hurts my brain. I am not smart. Yes, you are. Not with this type of stuff. No. Well, actually, yes. Well, no, okay. With this sort of stuff, you're ignorant. All right? I'm not ignorant. Yes, you are. It means you don't know. I thought it means that you're rude. No, that's incorrect. That That is ignorance to the word, the meaning of the word ignorant. So where do people get that from? Well, it's like people saying, I'm literally dying. It's like, no, you're not. It's people using words wrong. No. Ah. See, we know what's going on in this part. First orange engine to ever touch the tracks in the first place. And now, it is the first orange engine to touch the new tracks. Please don't keep that There's no one over there. Let's see if Chuck does those weird. Keep going. I don't know how the switch is set up. Keep going. Keep going. Dead in the water. Oh my god. I'm not going over that. Oh, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Dead in the water. Tap it, maybe. Who 
with some juice. Go to worse. Preferably. Making something beautiful here, you and me, Mr. Sir. So we are. And everyone on YouTube gets to experience it. strange occurrence, a very strange storm is happening on the bridge. The wheels are going from here to that plastic bit that's oddly shaped like rail. And I don't know what its purpose is or why it's there, but that's it would happen a few times. Right here? The inner bit. Oh, that's to keep the make sure they walk in a line. Well, well, it's also taking the truck from the wheel and putting it on there, thinking it's the whole track when it's just the well, that's because there's a, it's, like I said, we need to mow this down, but. Thank you. Thank you. Your grandpa, you and I. Yep. 
That's a perfect name for it. I agree. I've ever seen a runner. Oh, huh. <clears throat> again, that was almost half half speed too, and everything. Look cut out. Oh, it's dead in the water. Yeah, we're not getting anything to it. I can't even reverse it. Yeah, it should be good. Huh. Well, you're the expert. What do you think is happening there? <laughs> I'm only saying because it worked the first few times, but now it's issue. It really doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm going to take this off because we're going to work. Well, I, was, I could have just whipped it around real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you like what I put in the yard for the cooker? Switcher? Yeah. You know, bicentennial, the non existent. Does those exist? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, a, I'm not going to say that out loud, actually. Um, It's like your uh, your GG early. You know, you know what I'm talking about? It, it's like your GG. No, I don't really have to swallow up for it. Um, your ghost. Oh. It doesn't exist. Doctor's gonna burn it out. Don't get mad at me for that. Nope. It's a pretty weird thing to compare it to, but I think it's funny. I don't really get mad at you for much. What are we talking about again? About how I get mad at you about stuff. No. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad you like that as much as I do. I'm a child. I'm easily entertained. I'm a child, too. <laughs> this is looking so cool. I'm so happy. It's looking much better than it did. I'm looking back on that video I made about destroying it and how dramatic and how sad I was, and now I'm like, yeah, it, it was still a very upsetting day destroying the thing that I love, but we it's, rebuilt it and made it better. It's cooler looking, I think, now. Yeah. I mean, it's still kind of... I think it's much cooler than it was. I much prefer it with running water and, you know, stuff in here, but <laughs> this is cool. Mm -hmm. This is really, really cool. This is how you build a whale, I yep. guess. This is how we're building it. <laughs> Start taking notes. Yeah. I'm going to go out uh, here fairly soon. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go stop at the grocery store and get some stuff for dinner. What are the uh, chances of coming over tomorrow? Uh, fairly high. Okay. I was going to say, just let me do whatever I'm doing with Grandpa Mark. Maybe I can even get a time. I mean, taking down all those Christmas decorations could be an hour or two. If. Yeah, I mean, I'll stop at least for a little bit tomorrow, I'm sure. Okay. And then, uh, tomorrow's Sunday, Monday, we'll stop by for a bit. The Tuesday, you won't see me. It's my first day back at work. No, so it'll be Monday. No, Tuesday. Oh, nice. Who yeah. wants to work on Mondays anyway? Yeah. I need you to stop. Boom. For right there. I like that whole sighting. Me too. It, it 
No, like that's why I'm keeping the uh, the stuff on it because it's it just looks so much better. I mean, we got the see this is this is a normal your average yard. You got rolling stock that no one has ever seen in this condition before. You got an engine that people are still questioning how they have it, and you got prefabricated rail and everything. It's your typical yard, the place everyone visits because they have the cool shit. <laughs> There's actually a uh, very small class one railroad. They have X, C, B, and Q switchers. Oh, I got a few. Okay. I'm right back. Okay. There he goes. The middle of my sentence. Right in the middle of it. <laughs> Trains. The old A200 horn. Wrong way. Strange. More hyperlapse and full use charging anyway. Text message. Got a time for you, old man. What? I said I have a time for you, old man. A what? Time! Grandpa Mark just texted and said he'll pick me up Sunday 10 a.m. Like I said, they got a lot of Christmas decorations, but I can definitely play with 100% guarantee. It's always faster. Oh, oh it's always faster for taking a dog. Then it is putting it up. Yep. Yep. Perfect I uh, was just running the uh, old Santa Fe, and um, I don't know if it tells you anything, but uh, every time I set the switch to go over the trestle, even though it's not there. Um, it works fine, but as soon as I switch it to go this way, it immediately just stops working. I guess I could put that in there. Hold on, let me. Like I said, I don't know if it tells you anything, but uh, that's what's happening. It does. Okay, good. It tells me everything I need to know. Perfect. Makes we me need to power this side. We, we need to put to? power. 
on the outer rail, this rail, yeah, right there. And then we're on part of both rails. But how did it work? Or to the outer rail over there. Why is it all stop working all of a sudden? It worked fine the one time with the BNSF, and all of a sudden it's just kind of. Yeah. You got the charger down there? Yeah. You got the portable too? Yeah. Can I have it, please? Yep. One second. Anyway. It was working fine with the first engine. You know, BNSF, and all of a sudden it's just. Yeah. Tell mom that that pizza was good that I we grabbed from Heidi. Anyway, what uh, hmm. what do you think? What do you think happened in the time it took to run the first engine on it, and the time it took to run it again? That's so all I'm trying to figure out. Why did it work the first time, and now it's just kind of like. Yeah. Well, it should have worked the first time. <laughs> so you're saying it was a miracle? Yes. Shit. Because this rail is not connected to the rest of the system. So, God damn, that's confusing. I mean, no, it's not, but like... It is. The fact that it worked is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. so that's confusing. Did we just catch a miracle on camera? <sighs> Top five miracles caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is, of course, the Burger King foot lettuce. Come on, Durley, you have to know that. The Burger King foot lettuce? Do you? Oh, man, I thought you were cool. <laughs> Gauntlet Throne. What? That's a Gauntlet Throne. He threw the gauntlet, saying I'm not cool. I just, I figured, you know, you're with the times and everything no, else. No, what are you talking about? I can't remember who it was, but a long <coughs> time ago, there was this guy's voice, and I can't remember if it was who I'm thinking of or not. And he talked really, he talked really funny, I would say, not necessarily funny, but um, obviously with technology, someone made him a uh, made his voice say Burger King for lettuce because I guess at one point there was this whole thing going on with Burger King employees just stepping on their food mm. and posting it online for some reason. Like I don't know how it all originated but I just I know it was it was funny back in my day. Now you say it these days you get weird looks from people. What are you talking about? I don't know man I thought you knew. Yeah, this is the Illinois Central logo, all right. All right, boy. You leaving me? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. That's good timing, I guess. All right, so maybe I won't stop by tomorrow. Up to you. Maybe I mean, I like I said, he's picking me up at ten. Yeah. So. You well, know, I'm probably just gonna lay in bed all day. I wouldn't have gotten out of bed today if I had not been for you. I mean, I would have. I just would have laid in bed longer. This is nice. That is a good sensation. Give me a hug. As long as you promise I don't have to buy a breathalyzer. <laughs> right. No. I don't want that. To get that in your vehicle it only works if you don't have any in your system. It's no. the only way it turns on. No, that sounds like it sucks. God, plus her fucking pain in the ass to install and they're pain in the ass to uninstall. You hit the box car. But it's still on the rails, boy. That's the weirdest place to put that. And that's your buffer right there, so it doesn't you know fall off. Mm -hmm. It's a drill. It's coming in handy. 
Isn't this a setup? You got the F7 right. untouched Burlington Northern boxcars <coughs> in a bicentennial locomotive within the I same like that little sighting, man. That makes me really happy, actually. I like messing with it. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see you later. All right. I'll see you. No, oh, baby. <sighs> Peter Fear is loving me, baby. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Well, I guess there's no better time to end it off. Almost three hours. That's a pretty damn good live stream if I had to say myself. And guess what? I say so. But uh, thank you all for tuning in to another live stream from the Illinois Man 601. Wait for you. Applaud. But, uh, well, we definitely got some major progress done. We can finally put trains in kind of a full loop, but not really. Um, now you, Mr. Trussell, I'm looking at you. You need to fix yourself before you mess yourself. That's another inside joke, something I made myself. Most people will get it. How do you switch? Here we go. I had to figure out how to use the switch for a second. Anyway, I'm probably going to leave everything as it is, except for the BNSF ES44 C4. I'm going to put that back in its protective packaging. Everything else, quite literally, doesn't have any protective packaging. Also, I really just don't want to move it. <laughs> Too lazy. But, uh, well, I don't know when the next live stream is going to be. I'm going to be completely honest. I can't really guarantee one in the future. I can't really not guarantee one in the future. Especially when it comes to time. I can tell you that there's going to be a live stream, but I can't tell you when. I can tell you guys with 100% guarantee I'm going to be going down to the tracks tonight at 6 exactly. I'm talking leaving here before 6. Because I am not having one of those nights where I can't even set up. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a shirt. <gasps> Don't worry, I'm wearing a shirt, I swear. It's just not being nice to me. Anyway, I'm not going to have another one of those nights where as soon as I get there, the train's already coming through. I don't like that. It really upset me because then I feel like, okay, my, you got to understand, it kind of hurt because obviously I had my flashlight. I had fully charged too. <clears throat> I had my flashlight on my hip. I didn't even think to go into my normal spot with the light. So the thumbnail kind of sucked. That's the only thing I'm really upset about. Everything else came out pretty well though. But the thing is, is before the train came, I was sitting like this, put up my arm for the wave, you know, my little stupid little wave. I should do it longer one of these days. Just go as they pass away or something. But uh, maybe I'll do that tonight. <laughs> but, uh, well, the thing is, is like, as soon as I get down there and it's like it, my arm hurt a lot. You know, I'm holding my phone in one spot. I'm, yeah, I'm holding my phone. And I'm trying my best not to move my arm because I'm not a sniper. I can't hold my my hand still, even though I'm somehow magically doing it now. But uh, eventually my arm was like, mm, it started to hurt because I was at, at the flashlight. I was like this the whole time, looking stupid. But uh, tonight we'll be on a tripod, I hope. I really, really hope. And hopefully we get another one of those early nights again. I'm okay with that because then I can do whatever I want for the rest of my night. I like that. But in terms of live stream, I'm probably just going to sit down here and mess with some trains for one hour. My phone is at 69. Nice. I'm going to charge it like I do before I go on the chat. As you can see, I'm getting it done early. I'm just going to sit down here. I'm going to end the live stream still. I'm just going to sit down here anyway and just mess with some trains because uh, it's been a long time coming. You know, I've, I've waited, waited almost... I think over two months just to finally have the ability to run trains again. So obviously I'm gonna to want to run my locomotives. I'm really sorry I'm not turning it into a full video. I know you guys would prefer that, but I need to just have my time with my trains. Anyway, all that being said. 
like I said once before, I'll say it again. Thank you guys for joining into the live stream. Appreciate every single one of you. Uh, Mr. DBC didn't stick around that that much, unfortunately. Which that's all right, Mr. DBC. I'm just saying. But uh, hopefully, Mr. DBC, if you're watching this magically, <laughs> if I see you down there tonight, I will stay an extra few minutes if you want to come over and say hi. Totally up to you. It's whatever you want, man. Uh, as long as you're not sneaking up on me and scaring the shit out of me, I'm okay. <laughs> but, uh, well, see you guys in the next live stream. And again, thank you for joining in to Illinois Man 601's live stream. Again, we're growing every single day, little by little. And uh, hopefully here pretty soon, we'll reach the 300 subscriber mark. So, I'm not going to say subscribe and like, but I will say... Nothing. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to be like everyone. You know what I, as a joke, you better like and subscribe. Otherwise, there's going to be a spider under your bed at night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I grew up with that all my life, and it was the stupidest thing ever. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Because some you know, little kids fall for that, and it's, I don't agree with that. If you ever like or subscribe to my channel, it has to be your decision 100%. And, of course, I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you all in the next live stream or in the next video, depending on what you do on my channel. Some people watch the live stream. Some people watch the videos. I know a lot of people do both. But whoever you are, wherever you are, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, I got to press another button. Peace. Man. <laughs>